What's going on everybody? Today we install the turbocharger on our 420cc drift trike. And we also show you how carburetors and turbos don't mix. It'll be fine though. It'll be alright. Man, that thing is awesome. The charging system works, but just barely. And we don't know if it'll be enough to even power the oil pump for the turbo. I mean, it will power it up, but it might not be able to keep up. Yeah. But we said we'd put a turbo on a drift trike, so that's so what we're, we're gonna, gonna, gonna do. So we're gonna put a turbo on. Yeah, buddy. So first thing, remove the factory exhaust. Now John's taking off the exhaust. <laughs> that's right. Quick tip. Quick tip. Don't take the exhaust off after you've been running it. I got this. Look at that. Nice. So here's our turbo. Um, I don't remember the name of the manufacturer, but I do know that it's a clone, a Chinese copy of uh, Garrett's smallest production turbo, at least I believe it is. Um, I don't even know the model name, but if you go on the internet and Google uh, small engine turbo, that's gonna be one of the first, if not the first result. This one has the 34 millimeter bore, and came with it was a oil cooler, some oil lines, some flanges, uh, and an oil pump. And this is what we're kind of worried about um, with our battery charging situation. But there's only one way to find out if it's gonna work, and that's to hook it all up and give it a shot. Sounds good. And to be honest, we're not really looking to make any major power gains. Uh, we're just putting that thing on there because it's cool. We have to thank a couple of different companies for this build. The first being Go Power Sports, who uh, provided us the 420cc engine, the live axle, the wheels, the tires, the clutch, and the chain. Uh, links in the description, as well as little cards. We also have to thank Garage Amino. Garage Amino is a mobile automotive community. It's a free app you can download for your Android or iPhone. And there's a link in the first line of the description. Download it, go follow us at Cars and Cameras. We've been posting some pretty cool exclusive content on there. For example, we uh, posted a poll what color should we paint the drift trike? We're not sure when we're gonna paint it, but uh, we know it's gonna be blue because you guys voted for blue. We also have to thank Ike's brother, Jason, at All Out Bikes in Four Oaks, North Carolina. They provided the, uh, the front forks and the front wheel and front tire, as well as the front brake. So some pretty cool stuff going into this build from Go Power Sports, Garage Amino, and Ike's brother at All Out Bikes. Anyway, back to the situation at hand. What are you thinking, buddy? This, uh... Turbo has a spot for coolant, which we're not going to use. This will probably be fine. That's, that's, that's why we have an oil cooler, because the oil can help cool it, too. Right. It'd just be better if we, both. But, yeah. Uh, it'll be fine. What are, you, what are you figuring, though? I'm just uh, trying to figure out the positioning of the turbo and stuff. Because we're going to be getting rid of this big intake thing, too, right? Um, yeah. <clears throat> yes, we are. Did it come with a uh, filter? A pod? Didn't, did it? No, no. We can get one from the power sports. Well, we could, but I was thinking that we could just use this one. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not se as sexy as a pod, but... It would do. Uh... All we gotta do is make a little bracket and boom. Pop it on there. I don't think that looks half bad. No, it doesn't. We made some flanges for uh, for the turbo and the engine. Now that we have these flanges made, we can um, start bending some pipe. We have our pipe, one inch pipe. Might be restrictive, might not be, but it's the best we got. So it'll be fine. Shall we cut? Sure, we cut. gonna need to be a lot sharper than that. Well, what I was gonna do is I was gonna do a little pie, pie cut. cut. Yeah. That's what I was thinking Probably do well. a couple of pie cuts just to get a little bit sharper. Right. Uh, the first flange we put on and actually get it welded up will hold the turbo in place for the rest of them. Okay. So, 
I think we ought to do this exhaust one first, which was going to come around. Well, Ike, after a lot of welding and a lot of cutting and a lot of bending, you managed to get the exhaust side of the turbo on. So congratulations, man. Oh, thank you. How does it feel? Well, that was my goal for tonight. Good, okay. But let me see what time it is. I think it's like probably 9.30, 10, 10. 9.50. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. tomorrow. Hello, everybody. We are back here working on the drift stripe, specifically the turbo. Show them what you got, Ike. Oh, well, we got a couple of turbo lines, like... Uh, Intake and exhaust. Well, the inlet or the pressure side and the uh, exhaust side. Yep. Uh, we still have to make the exhaust pipe in. Right. And you made that sexy intake. Yes, I did so, this morning. Yeah, while I was at work, because I'm a working man. And I'm a spring breaking man. That's fine, that's fine. So we got them mocked up, so now we're gonna weld up all these high cuts. Yep. Bunch of them. Think that's gonna be restrictive? A little bit. But it'll be fine. That's right. <laughs> what you doing, buddy? Welding. Welding the exhaust pipe. Yeah. What do they even call that? I mean, that's not the exhaust pipe, but it's the exhaust part of the turbo. Well, it's pipe. Pipe? Okay. Pipe. Once we finish the piping on this, all we have to do is hook up the oil pump and uh, she should be good to go. This turbo is a VZ21 from Ecotrons. You know what, we, we can just clean it up and leave it rough looking. If it works. It's all that matters? Then, later on, we oh. can clean it up. Yeah. Because if it doesn't work, we're gonna be pissed that we spent 10 hours cleaning up these pipes and stuff. Right. Well, let's, uh, let's show them what we got. It looks like an alien. It does look like an alien. That looks scary. Doesn't it though? It looks like the backbone of something. Looks like some backbone of an alien or something. That's how many pie cuts we had to... To bend it that tight. To bend it, yeah. So now I'm gonna do my side. The intake side. While Jackie explains the anatomy of a turbocharger. Because she remembers because we explained it to her not too long ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Something about fans. Yeah. Got little fans in there making magic. So this particular turbo works with air going in there from the atmosphere and then going into the carburetor from this part of the turbo. Exhaust goes from this port to the atmosphere and then from the exhaust in the engine to this port in the turbo like that. And that's what Ike just finished welding. And there are little turbines inside of here and inside of there that are spun by the, um, by the exhaust gases, which uh, in turn accelerates the uh, air induction in this, uh, in the intake side, which forces more air into the combustion chamber, which increases horsepower, or at least in theory. But anyway, right now, I'm going to take this side of the uh, piping off, the intake side of the piping, and uh, weld it up. You know, I'm sure there's a way that we can uh, like block that off and then put pressure in here yeah, and see if it leaks. Yeah. But that would make too much sense for us to do. Right. And we're done for the night, but I got my side almost completely welded up. So we will see you people in the morning. Well, we've got the turbo mostly installed. Um, now we're trying to figure out a way of hooking up the oil pump to the turbo. Some people drill holes in their stuff. I figured this thing's got two drain plugs on it. Might as well use one drain plug for the pickup for the oil pump and one for the return. So uh, we're going to have to go to the store and see about finding some adapters and stuff. And okay. We're at Ike's place looking for exhaust pipe for the exhaust port on the turbo. The flange is just over one inch and the biggest pipe we have is one inch. So uh, we're looking for something that would fit a little bit better here in Ike's shop. Think people would like a Harley exhaust? 
Harley Davidson exhaust it is. So after about an hour running around, we managed to come up with, uh, <laughs> well, not exactly what we wanted. But we should be able to make it work, right, buddy? It'll be fine. You look kind of frustrated. It's a bit of a pain if you, uh, if you want to know the, the truth. The truth. Yep, I just mounted the oil cooler. Ooh, right. Right there with two mismatched bolts. The stud on the carburetor is broken, or one of them. I wasn't supposed to show them that, was I? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> it got cross-threaded and then it just broke. But I installed the oil cooler and behind it is the oil pump. And I uh, hooked up the wiring for that as well. And I'm actually gonna do a test run here in a second. I'm gonna see if our oil pump works. Um, they provided us with this little clip right here um, for us to plug into the oil pump and I ran two wires to the battery. Now, I know I used painter's tape to attach it, but it's only a temporary fix for testing purposes only. So I'm gonna plug it in and uh, it should activate the oil pump. People are gonna think that the engine's knocking. Yeah. I'm gonna drill the uh, turbo oil return right into the uh, valve cover. There's nice holes going right down into the crankcase. So uh, this will save us hose and, and headache. <laughs> That's good, hose and headache. There we go. Reinstall it. Well, I gotta wipe it. Yeah, I'd there's like still to... some flakes in there. So we've come to the point where we need to put oil back in the engine. And rather than uh, just putting it in the regular way uh, in the engine, we are going to let our oil pump, our electric oil pump, uh, suck it up uh, to see if it's working right. This is gonna take a long time. This might actually take forever. Well, we're gonna see. We might be able to go get our bolts, <laughs> come back, and it still won't be empty. I don't think we're going to be able to hear that over the sound of the exhaust anyway. No, we're not. So we're getting really close to running this thing. We're running out of daylight. It's actually a lot later than we thought it was. Um, we have the exhaust on. It's not too pretty, but I'm going to cut it, make it shorter, hopefully better, look better. Um, but other than that, everything is pretty much good to go. The oil pump's hooked up. We drilled the jet out of the carburetor. Um, in the carburetor. Two sizes up. Do you remember what size that was? No, I don't remember what size really it fine. was. Um, anyway, everything else is hooked up and ready to go. Uh, we have oil in it. I just need to cut this exhaust and cut it, buddy. fire it up. Plug okay. the oil pump in. We need right. to figure out a switch for this thing. Yeah. It's oops. Sorry. It's pumping. That's a bummer. Well, I was afraid of that. It must be a pretty good boost. <laughs> I was thinking that it wasn't going to be that much. 
Well, it's enough to, you know, push fuel, fuel out right of the bowl the violently. Yeah. And you're saying it's going to run fine, right? Yeah, she's going to be a little rich, but it'll run. Back to the drawing board. Well, let's just sleep on it. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning. Uh, we worked all day yesterday installing this turbo, and I uh, had a slight idea that it wasn't going to work, but I, I had that uh, it'll be fine thoughts. Um, it was a failure, but uh, I think I've got another idea. So uh, me and John are going to do something different, and hopefully it'll be just fine. This turbo actually produces pretty good boost. Um, so much boost that it's pressurizing the carburetor and it did exactly what I thought, which was pressurizing everything else in the uh, carburetor, which was just spraying fuel out of the bowl and, and it was just a mess. So we're gonna do what I didn't want to do, uh, but we'll try it anyways. We're gonna take this carburetor and we're gonna put it right on the inlet of the turbo. So we're gonna have probably a lot of lag and starting problems, but once we get it going, it should, should go pretty good. Another thing we're gonna have a problem with is uh, this turbo's above the uh, bottom of the fuel tank. So when the fuel level gets down to about right here, we're gonna start having problems with uh, running out of fuel. So uh, we're going to have to keep the fuel tank full. We'll try that out. So here goes nothing. I figured we'd just cut, cut this thing right there. Okay. And we're going to take the flange off uh, that probably went to here. Yeah. And we're going to mount it, or we're going to weld it here, which means we can put the carburetor up here. Then we're going to have that line that comes down to here and it's going to have, it's going to stop around here and we'll just make a little uh, extension. Okay. So now I'm putting this new uh, flange that John made and an adapter on the turbo and I'm going to weld it uh, and hopefully everything will be just fine. Just like that. Just like that. Ike just made a gasket for the flange we just made, um, and now he's bolting it up so we can fire it and see what it will do. Fuel on. Choke. Choke is on. Hit it. Carburetor doesn't like it at all. I'm gonna ride it. You're gonna ride it? I'm gonna try. Okay. Oh, he's not stopping. <laughs>
that's some quality linkage, Ike. Oh, thanks. Oh, holy cow. That is bad. <laughs> hey, man, I'm doing the best I can. In the time, a lot. Yep. Ike just hooked up some super ghetto throttle linkage. And I don't... it's good. Are you serious? Well, I was trying to use a nut, but... We're doing all kinds of cross-threading and stuff you're not supposed to do. But that's because we're kind of out of time, and I'm kind of sick of not riding this thing. Yep. Me too. Don't do this at home. Are you really filming? Yeah, I am. This is actually probably the worst work I've ever seen you do. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> the thing is... I know that we're going to be changing it anyways. GFI? Or what? Something. Something else other than this. This is cool, but uh, it really needs EFI. And uh, so I don't know how long we're going to keep this. The problem we're having is we don't have wide open throttle. That's the only problem. It's not doing anything. It doesn't sound like it wants to idle. Uh, well, you know, it is what it is. Let's, uh, let's try to get wide open throttle. Man, the teeth are so gritty. You can almost hear the turbo, I want to say. Yeah. You can just hear, it, it sounds like, you know, it sounds like while it's idling, like there's like a little whir. Do you like it? Run, run. Um, yeah, but it really needs the EFI. I don't know how many times I've said it, but 
It's going to need the EFI. Does it not return sometimes? Uh, no, it'll it'll return, but um, I think the turbo is still wound up, and so it's pulling extra fuel and air, which is making the idle up. Shouldn't it uh like blow off valve? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Pump activated. Choke on. Fuel is on. Alrighty. This is gonna be something. Key on. Key on. Cranking. Contact. Remember the key. Yeah. Battery sounds like it's starting to die. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah, buddy. Whew. So 
So we're gonna need the EFI, just as we were afraid of. Huh. It's such a pile because there's so much going on between the carburetor and uh, the combustion chamber. The air comes in here, mixes with fuel in the carburetor, then goes into the turbo. We don't even know if that's safe. Don't do what we do, don't do this at home. Then is put through this intake tube into the combustion chamber. So kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. We kind of saw this coming, but we forgot because we got too excited. But anyway, Ike is actually welding a bracket on a Harley muffler thing. Uh, just for the heck of it. Just for the heck of it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what she sounds She's like. She's bouncy. Alrighty, uh, choke. You gonna do it right here? Sure. Sounds like a Harley. It was a good build until we put the turbo on. <laughs> I hate to say it. It was a good build until we put, put the turbo on. But, you know, this is this is a learning experience. Yeah, this is a, plus this is only turbo stage one. That's right, turbo stage one. Or phase one, whatever. Um, yeah. So, now y'all know, don't put a turbo on a carbureted engine. We tried it two different ways. Yeah, we really weren't able to measure the performance of the turbo at all um, because, well, we have these plastic sleeves on the tires and also it's, rain. it's super rainy yep. and slick. It's so wet outside. But for now, the turbo looks awesome. It does look awesome. And it, it, it you can kind of hear it. Sort of. Yeah, you can hear it spool up some. Um, but, you know, like we've been saying it, anything other than full throttle, it sucks. Yeah, full throttle it goes. Um, does not like the idle. So, still lots of things to do on this uh, drift strike. But EFI. <laughs> EFI. Like EFI. And maybe, well, the charging system just doesn't seem to do anything, which is... We'll look into that. A super bummer. Yeah, we, we were thinking that the uh, 420 had a good charging system to charge up the batteries. That's the whole reason why we went with the 420 but it's not charging the battery. So uh, anytime we go riding, we got to make sure the battery's charged up. And that sucks. Yeah. It's all right uh, running the oil pump. We can ride a long time uh, with just the oil pump. But, but when we're going to go EFI, with EFI, we're going to have to power up a computer. We are going to have to power up injector. We're going to have to power up the oil pump. And, and who knows what else we're going to have to power up. Right. Uh, and it's just going to absolutely kill the battery. Yeah. So we got some figuring to do. Yep. If you have any ideas, please let us know. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. We have to thank Go Power Sports for this build series. They provided the 420cc engine, which has been a beast up until the point we put a turbo on it. Um, she that, looks sexy. Yeah, it looks sweet. I mean, the whole turbo setup with the engine, it looks mean. super cool. It looks mean. Yes, it does. Yeah. I like the I like the look of the carburetor on there, too. Yeah, carburetor looks cool. That Harley-Davidson exhaust chrome tip is sexy. Yeah, man. Yeah. Go Power Sports also sent us this live axle kit, the clutch, the chain, a couple other bits and pieces. So, thank you, Go Power. Wait, hold on, you need to thank say Thank you, Go Power Sports. There you go. <laughs> That's your thing. Links in the description, everybody. We also have to thank Ike's brother at All Out Bikes, Four Oaks, North Carolina. They I'm, go all out. Yeah, I mean, this could be Ike's brother. You don't know. Isn't that right, Jason? Huh? And finally, we have to thank Garage Amino. Garage Amino is a mobile automotive community. It's an app you can download for free on your iPhone or Android. We have an account on there, and we've been posting some pretty cool stuff before it appears in videos. Um, so check it out, download it. Uh, like I said, it's completely free. We're on there at Cars and Cameras. Um, we have to paint this thing blue, by the way, Yeah. at some point. Yeah. 
in a future video. As you can see, it's rainy and we're running out of sunlight. And we've been working on this video for... All weekend. Yes, all weekend plus some in the weekdays. Yep. So we're about ready to end this one. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Buy yourself a t-shirt. Cars-cameras.com. Link in the description. Uh, Garage Amino at Cars and Cameras. Anything else? Any messages? Turbos and carburetors don't mix. Turbos and carburetors don't mix. Yep. We need EFI, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next one.